when I actually started to take a look at the numbers and just how green the car was, it was amazing to me. That's when I was convinced I have to make this car out of cannabis. You'll probably think that looks like a regular fiberglass car or even a steel car just looking at it. When you go up and you touch it and you knock on it, you'll go like, wow, that's fiberglass. But actually it's not fiberglass. We used about, typically about three plies of woven hemp and that made it rigid enough to keep its shape. Built by Bruce Dietzen, this stunning sports car is made from around 100 pounds of hemp as well as being a lot lighter than fiberglass or steel. The unusual material has another impressive quality. It's 10 times more uh, dent resistant than steel. I'm not gonna do that right now. Although this prototype is built on a Mazda chassis, Bruce hopes that if the car gets to production, that too will be made from hemp. He took his inspiration from Henry Ford, the great pioneer of affordable motoring, who was said to have experimented with hemp as both a material and a fuel in the 1940s. Not everyone is familiar with Henry Ford's cannabis car. It was made not only out of cannabis, but also used soy for the resin, and it also used flax and some other things, wheat straw, etc. The most interesting aspect of that car is that he used both cannabis for the strength in the body, and then he also used cannabis remnants. He would make that into a fuel. His car, incredibly, was about three times greener than today's electric vehicles because of how it was made and then how it was fueled. Bruce estimates that building the car cost him around $200,000 in cash and a further $200,000 in lost earnings. But he hopes his project will help him spread his environmental message. It sets an example and it lets people know that we can make everything out of plants. That's what Henry Ford was really out to tell everyone when he created his first cannabis car. So you pull up, buddy. The car's amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, this is beautiful, man. We may not be able to pull up to our local gas stations right now and say, fill it up with hemp gasoline because we have to wait for these fuel companies to catch up and start doing the right thing. It's really a symbolic product right now, but I think as we go into the future, we're going to see more and more companies realizing that what we have to do is start making things from plants if we're going to turn things around and start to reverse climate change. As well as wanting to get the car to manufacture, Bruce is developing a TV show featuring the car, which will look at all the possibilities for the use of hemp in the future. I live in Florida. Uh, hemp is still illegal to grow in Florida. I had to import the woven material all the way from China because we still don't even have facilities that can make fabrics like, like this out of hemp. It has to come out of places like China. What a terrible wasted opportunity. What a, we could be employing all these people. But we're gonna take the car around the country and investigate these things because if cannabis can be used this many different ways, we've got to accelerate the process of making it legal across the country and start using it more and more and more for both ecological purposes and medical purposes, etc. cetera.